creating holes, placement area, linear. So we want to create a hole and we need to place it. So first of all, we're going to come up into our 3D model and we're going to go to the hole command. I'm going to click on the hole command and in my placement drop down, I'm going to choose linear. And now I have the first method I'm going to choose is I need to pick the face. So the face is on by default. I'm going to select this face. When I pick, it just automatically throws a hole in there. It guesses, but it picks at the spot that which I picked. Now, um, at this point, I can change the diameter of the hole. Let's say I want to go 0.5. Okay, and it updates automatically. Now, I want to position this hole. So I'm going to come down and pick on reference one. When I pick on reference one, I pick the edge that I want to dimension it from. In this case, it's 0.974. Well, I really didn't want it exactly there. I wanted it at 1.0. And now I want to measure off of this edge over here. So I'm going to come in and choose reference two. So I click on reference two. I come over here and highlight this edge and it picks up a dimension there. Now, I really want it to be centered. I'm going to put 2.0. And you'll notice that it has a lock here. I can either lock it or unlock it. So I come over and pick on this one, and this one's locked, and I can unlock it. If they're unlocked, that means I can manipulate those later. If they're locked, that means that uh, those values are intact, and you cannot move that hole along those references. So you can decide how, uh, how much constraints you want to that hole. Uh, once we decide how big uh, our location is from our references and the size, you can say, well, maybe I want it at 1.25. I can make all these changes. Once the changes are made, I can come over here and apply, and it creates that hole for me. And now, uh, at this time, I can close the dialog box and I've created a hole uh, using the placement method, placement area of linear. Now, I always recommend that you make a hole using the hole command. Uh, you can make it by extruding that um, from a sketch, but there's a has more advantages to choosing the hole command than extruding a circle. So I always recommend that you use the hole command whenever possible.